Welcome back everybody. Today we have a quick test, at least it should be anyway, uh, for you with some handgun ammunition chambered in 410 buckshot. So I realize that's contradictory to many of you, um, but with the popularity of guns like the Smith & Wesson Governor that we have here and then also the Taurus Judge out there, a lot of folks are, in my opinion, picking the wrong choice in ammo uh, for those for uh, defensive use. So we wanted to kind of see how this particular load, which is designed for handguns, this is a federal uh, 410, obviously two and a half inch shells. So for those who don't know, they make three inch shells as well, um, but two and a half is what works in the governor. It's loaded with four pellets of triple aught buckshot. So relatively heavy buckshot and uh, the velocity is gonna be kind of the key here, as is the spread for stuff that we're gonna look at. So it's rated, again, for handguns, 850 feet per second. We will actually throw the data up in there for chronograph from both of these as we shoot them. Um, but this governor here has a two and a half inch barrel. And when I shot a similar test with a Bond Arms uh, 410 a couple years ago in this very field, uh, it had really, really poor penetration. However, a huge sort of paradigm shift that's happened with 410 ammo is that nowadays because of the popularity of these revolvers uh, there are a ton of companies making ammo specifically for it this is one of those and uh, one of the ones that kind of gets some of the highest marks out there uh, this of course has a rifle barrel because it can shoot both 45 acp and 45 long colt and 410 so you'll see very likely uh, a little bit more spread than some would want so that's definitely something to keep in mind both the shots that we take today will be shot at five yards into some clear ballistics gel with no barriers or anything like that just to kind of get a baseline uh, for it and then for the long gun we're going to use henry's new this is their 410 uh, side loading gun it's got an 18 and a half inch barrel and uh, should get a lot more velocity even though again this is designed specifically for handguns this one's going to give it some more energy so we'll see how the two do um, in comparison and then come back at the end and discuss the results As you guys can see, it actually did pretty well. We had one of the pellets skip over the top here, so missed out on that one, but all of them that are in the block are in between. The shortest one is right there, just under 11 inches. It had some bounce back, so realistically it's 11 inches. Um, and then the furthest one was 13 and a half. So uh, pleasantly surprised by that result. Let's uh, throw it in the lever gun. Out of the shotgun, we definitely had a tighter group here at five yards. It was right about an inch spread where it actually impacted. And uh, they definitely had a little bit more energy going through. It's probably apparent with the slow-mo that you guys just saw. The shortest one stopped right around the 13 inch mark. And then we had uh, three of them exit the block. Uh, however, just kind of looking at the footage just now, I'm not sure if it comes across to you guys, but I've done this a good bit. Um, it looks like they didn't have a ton of energy. I would expect most of those to stop somewhere between the 18 to 20 inch mark. This is a 16 inch block. It's all we got out here today for this quick test, but yeah, definitely hitting a little bit harder for sure. I think I mentioned it earlier, but I was pleasantly surprised with how it did out of the governor. Again, this only has a two and a half inch barrel and we had good penetration there. So for those who don't know, the FBI, which is sort of what everybody looks to for ballistics testing, at least as a baseline, maybe not as the best, but as a baseline uh, for testing, they recommend something that gets at least 12 inches of penetration because um, in the real world, although myself, I'm not super obese. A lot of people are, a lot of people wear heavy clothing. Sometimes you get side shots, things like that. Uh, so they recommend that to ensure that you're hitting uh, the vital organs and stuff like that to stop a threat. And uh, I was, again, surprised that we basically, with the exception, I think, of one of the pellets, had that with our governor here. Um, so pleasant surprise there. The group size at five yards was about double what we saw at the point of impact here with the uh, Henry. So that's just, again, something that if you choose a buckshot load uh, for your uh, revolver, definitely make sure you pattern it. And uh, if you're gonna do that, just make sure you do some research on the actual results of that gun in that ammo combination. Of course, with the Henry here, 
We had better results in terms of energy, like I said. Uh, it didn't look like when I reviewed the footage, you guys have probably seen it now too, I would imagine. When I reviewed the footage, it didn't look like they had much energy when they were coming out. So it was probably gonna stop there relatively shortly. Um, but this, again, would be, you could substitute this with like a Remington 870, Mossberg 500, etc. cetera, in uh, 410. So very light recoiling if somebody wants to use that for like a home defense shotgun. And as you saw, these results here are pretty darn good. Um, I wouldn't wanna take uh, four pellets of triple hot buck uh, going at those velocities in the chest and you can see it definitely did some damage as well same would be true again for the Taurus judge and the governor that we have here um, so definitely kudos to federal I know there's other companies that are making uh, sort of improved loads uh, for handguns they did a good job there uh, when I did it years ago again we had just a huge spread and very little penetration I think the max depth on that that one was like seven inches but again back then all the loads were designed for 18 and a half inch barrels so they're definitely making some improvements there um, it's just something i caution a lot of folks who want to use uh, the judge or the governor for home defense i'll get into that when i do my review or self-defense just make sure you know your load know how it's going to perform in this because sometimes it's not going to perform so well some of them like this one here as you guys just saw perform pretty well but again we we're shooting at five yards so make sure you know if you think you had to take a shot at 15 yards you got to be uh, considerate of your spread right because it's opening up in a cone and uh, you're responsible for every pellet you send down range so um, there's not a lot of civilian encounters that are at 15 yards for self-defense but it certainly could happen so just just be aware of that but that's pretty much it guys. Simple tests, simple results. And uh, I think it performed pretty darn well out of both platforms. If you have any questions about the test, anything that we discussed or didn't discuss here in the review, by all means, post down below in the comment section. If you need an answer to that question, the best place to reach me is over at my Facebook page. I respond to all the messages I get over there. Um, sometimes it takes me a couple days because there's a few hundred thousand of you and only one of me, uh, but I do get to them. Um, whereas on YouTube and elsewhere, I don't always see the comments because of the way they're displayed in my feed. So there is that. If you guys like this video and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For those of you that are subscribed, I truly appreciate it. Either way, I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.